Hey guys, this is Hender for ScreenHog.co.uk and today we're doing 15 minutes with Chivalry Medieval Warfare. Okay, let's get going. Four classes here, Archer, Man at Arms, Vanguard and Knight. Um, starting here, this is the lightest and speediest guy but with little armour and this is basically the tank. Uh, let's start with the Archer. Okay, now this only just came out a few days ago. Uh, it's 18.99 currently on the Steam store. I honestly can tell you so far, uh, before our review has come out, that you should buy this. Seriously, just buy it. It's so much fun. <laughs> Battlefield on steroids with swords. As you can see, that's a peasant there. Just tend to find a lot of peasants roaming around uh, stuff these days. Oh, headshot. Nice. My buddies there in the blue. As you can see here, this is our objective would defend the village. So the peasants that are pointing out to you, basically what the other team, these red guys, have to do is they have to slaughter the peasants. Basically, they're pillaging. Oh, as you can see there, that in the downside is friendly fire. Ah, I'm dead. Nice shot. This, this is great fun. I mean, compare it to Ward the Roses, it's very straight up, essentially, team deathmatch. Um, whereas this, you know, the graphics may not look as good, but the combat is so much more simple. I uh, will feel the objective. I'm going to have to fall back, so I can press F1, and I have turned up at the safe house on my next objective, which is stop the battering ram. As I was saying, um, the combat is a lot more simple here. You don't have to move your mouse to decide on direction. Simple, well, in this case, the archer is left click. Um, to draw your bow, etc. And um, we also have siege weapons and defense weapons such as this ballista, as you can see here, this guy's using. Really, really cool. It just rips people apart. Um, you also, you're getting siege like stuff here, uh, which is great fun, especially as an archer, you can just sit on the battlements and pick out your targets. And I also have an arrow cam, which I get by holding down the middle mouse button. can see the other team have a battering ram, they've got to try and take down our gate with it to get inside the keep. Um, what we need to do is kill these guys to stop them getting close enough to start using it essentially. If you want an honest opinion, I honestly think this is what um, War of the Roses should have been like. <laughs> Which might be a pretty damning um, opinion on War of the Roses, but nevertheless. This is just this game just does so many things right and so very few things wrong. As you can see in just in the bottom right there's my arrow count. But I mean this is just this is damn fun. If <laughs> I can't explain just how much fun it is just, um, you know, sat here defending the castle. It's like, it's like all those siege defences you did in Mountain Blade, but like, awesome. Like, even more awesome than usual. Just try and hop on this so you can see what it's like. So you can see it's nice. Downside is that guy with the crossbow, damn accurate, just took me out with a headshot. Tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to respawn as a vanguard. Nice big heavy guy, um, not as heavily armoured as the knight, who is the heaviest armour as I said, but slowest. But god damn this guy packs a punch. As you can see here I am sprinting and I have the sword raised so I can do a charge attack. Ow. 
and I've just been decapitated. <laughs> That's another fantastic thing about this, the death animations. If you're caught right on the finishing blow, you will see arms, legs, head, pretty much everything short of genitals will roll off the body. Um, obviously, this is based on the original mod that was created for Half-Life 2 called Chivalry, I think. Just Chivalry, or well, Age of Chivalry, that was the one. Uh, was created for that. Nice, just took that guy together. Nice. Decapitate. What you have now that we're in the sword wielding classes is you basically attack just simply by pressing the left mouse button. That'll just do, as you can see here, a simple swing attack. Just trying not to hit my guys. If I roll the right, sorry, not the right mouse button. If I roll the scroll wheel forward, I do a stab attack. And if I roll it backwards, I do an overhead attack. And what you can do, you can combo these up into two. So I can slash and then overhead. Blocking is with the right mouse button, but I can also feint by pressing Q, which means I can stop my attack towards the guy's block out, basically. Come on. And third mouse button, sorry, not third mouse button, got that on the brain now, is third numpad, my support weaponry, in this case was throwing axes, which is pretty damn cool. Let's get back and help these guys defend the wall. Ah, is a charge attack. And if you get that right on the money, and um, that is gonna send a guy's head flying. Tar pots up there which you can use when the enemy are advancing on you. When they're down here, tip the tire on the head, that's gonna kill them, it's gonna burn them up. Oh, I think I just killed someone by there. Never mind. I'll make up for it. As you can see, what it takes a bit of getting used to is just gauging the distance that your weapon is going to go. Um, that's probably been the thing I've found hardest about this. But again, the whole thing's made so much simpler by, um, you know, not having to move my mouse right to swing right, move my mouse left to swing right, etc. That you saw in War of the Roses, which is probably the most similar game on the market right now. can get third person by uh, pressing the P key. But personally, it's just a lot more fun, in my opinion, to be doing that. Yeah. It's just cool when you get into these little duels with people on the battlefield as well, and you know, it's really satisfying to uh, take their head off. Downside is, you do get teammates who will run in front of your face. And you also have people who will shoot you, but, you know, accidents happen. Charge. Good job there. got his full arm. Uh, Vanguard's the only class that can use them, so you've got halberds and spears. Whoops, accidentally decapitated my own friend there, but he shouldn't have gotten in the way. And I've just taken that guy's legs off. Nice. Hopefully what you can see so far is just how damn awesome this game is. Um, 
I, I, I don't know how else to describe it, it's just damn awesome. And I can easily see myself putting hours into this game over the next few months. It isn't just one of these games where, you know, you play five matches and then it gets old. What keeps it awesome is the fact you have these sieges. And these siege maps are just awesome because, you know, it varies. You go through different objectives. You've got to complete the initial objective to get on to your next one. Um, but, you know... It's so much fun, you feel like you're really working towards something with all these guys. Okay, what I can do now, I'll press F1 and that will allow me to go back to the safe house um, basically that means I can get behind the enemy uh, I would if I hadn't missed the countdown for it never mind we'll have to get back and the objective says we're now defending our team let's change it over we shall be um, I don't know, screw it yeah what I like about this is we can select a random amount of weapons of the ones that we have unlocked what's this our oil pot uh, so basically imagine that as a grenade, or I can have a shield, or I can have a better shield. I'm going to try the grenade because I haven't done that yet. Take the fight to those archers. What I can do, press and see, I get war cry. Nice. Downside is, one thing I wish you could do is I wish you could use the war cry while moving. See, I'm press and see, does nothing. I have to stand still. And that would be our king. How successful we're going to be, I don't know. And the king's dead. <laughs> and that's the end of this game. Uh, as you can see, it plays through almost a bit of the story. That's not bad, just over a <laughs> 1 uh, KD ratio, never mind. Okay, what I'm going to do since this game's finished, I'm just going to leave this game and quickly just give you a quick look around the main menu with the 2 minutes and 9 seconds that we have remaining. Um, training is really, really good. Um, a lot of games don't do it very well these days, but uh, Chivalry Medieval Warfare does it very, very well. Um, it's really in-depth. You get and learn all of the stuff, and after each bit, you get to put it all into practice, so it's really fun. Uh, I would show you that, but it's probably go it would probably take about half hour, 45 minutes. We don't have time. Uh, configuration option menus what we have as you can see loads of different options here so you know you can tweak it until your heart is content um, as you can see I've got my quality on rather low at the minute um, obviously not running on a state of the art PC but I think the fact of how good it still manages to look is an absolute testament to how brilliant uh, a job they've done with this um, audio just your bog standard key binds helmet customization do all that um, one thing I will mention just before we finish is this was a Kickstarter game so you know it's a really good advert for what Kickstarter can do um, and I for one am absolutely delighted that I have done it um, key binds we have a few more <laughs> got a minute left to do tell you what I'm going to let you watch the credits because I'm a nice guy like that I'm Hender, and this has been 15 minutes with Chivalry Medieval Warfare for ScreenHog.co.uk. See you next time.